Today we're going to talk about integration by parts. Integral u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du. This is in fact reverse of the product group. Let's do a proof. d dx of uv, and uh, that's differentiate the first term, du dx times v plus, differentiate the second term, dv dx times u. Now let's rearrange. We get u dv dx is d dx of uv minus v du dx. Integrate both sides and the dx's cancel out. Notice the integral cancels all the derivative and we're left with the formula uh, integral u dv is uv minus integral v du. Now if there are limits uh, then this is a definite integral and um, we get integral a to b u dv is equal to uv evaluated from a to b minus integral from a to b v du. Um, notice this part of the equation is already integrated. So what is the strategy? Uh, how do we choose u and how do we choose dv? Choose u easy to differentiate and choose dv easy to integrate. If both u and dv are easy to differentiate and integrate, then choose u to be the polynomial. Example, u equals x or u equals x squared. This strategy will work most of the time. Okay, let's do an example. Here we have integral 1 to 2 x e to the 2x dx. We will let u be equal to x because that's easy to differentiate and this part be dv that's easy to integrate but in fact both terms are easy to differentiate and integrate and in that case we choose u to be a polynomial that is x all right um, so u equals x du is equal to dx dv is equal to e to the 2x dx. Now integrate both sides, we get v is e to the 2x divided by 2. So we get u times v, that's x e to the 2x divided by 2 minus integral v, that's e to the 2x divided by 2 times du, that's dx. So we get x e to the 2x divided by 2 Pull out the 1 half, we get minus 1 half, integral e to the 2x, dx. We get x e to the 2x, divided by 2, minus 1 half. Now we integrate e to the 2x, dx, that's e to the 2x, divided by 2. We divide by 2 because of the chain rule. Okay, let's put the limits from 1 to 2. Put 2 in, we get 2 e to the 4 over 2 minus e to the 4 over 4 minus now we put the bottom limit put 1 in we get 1 e squared divided by 2 minus e squared divided by 4 the 2's cancel out we get e to the 4th minus e to the 4th over 4 minus e squared over 2 plus e squared over 4 and um, this is going to give us 3 e to the 4th over 4 um, minus, that's 1 quarter, minus 1 half, that's minus e squared over 4. And this is the result. Okay, let's do another example. Example 2, here we have integral 1 to e ln x dx. There's only one term, so we'll let that be u. u is ln x. This part is dv. So u is equal to ln x. Differentiate, we get du is equal to 1 over x dx. dv is equal to dx. Integrate both sides, we get v is equal to x. So u times v, that's x ln x minus integral v, that's x times du, that's 1 over x dx. The x's cancel out, we get x ln x minus integral 1 dx is just x. Now let's evaluate the limits. So put the upper limit in, we get e ln e minus e minus, put the bottom limit in, that's 1 ln 1 minus 1. ln of e is log to the base e of e, that's 1 and ln of 1 
is log to the base e of 1 that's just 0 so let's write that in that's 0 this is 1 we get e minus e minus 0 plus 1 these cancel out we're left with 1 this is the answer all right let's do another example here we have integral from pi over 6 to pi over 4 x 6 squared x dx so we'll let this part be u and this part be dv because it's easy to differentiate x and it's easy to integrate secant squared x so u is equal to x du is equal to dx dv is equal to 6 squared x dx and you differentiate both sides and we get v is equal to tan x apply the formula we get u times v that's x tan x minus integral v that's tan x times du that's dx so we get x tan x minus integral let's rewrite this as sin x over cos x dx now we can do substitution rule let t be equal to cos x dt is minus sin x dx so we get integral uh, sin x over cos x which is just t and if you solve for dx we get dx is equal to dt over negative sin x dx is dt divided by minus sin x sin x cancels out we get minus integral 1 over t dt that's minus log of t but t is just cos x so we get minus log of cos x that's the result of this box so let's um, rewrite everything x tan x minus minus that makes it a plus ln of cos x and let's evaluate this from pi over 6 to pi over 4 and um, let's put the upper limit in that's pi over 4 tangent pi over 4 plus ln of course pi over 4 minus put the bottom limit in we get pi over 6 tangent pi over 6 plus ln of course pi over 6 now let's evaluate this so what we have is um, we need some triangles we need the special triangle here is the 1 1 root 2 um, this is pi over 4 pi over 4 and we have the 1 root 3 2 triangle this is pi over 6 pi over 3 and 90 degrees okay so we have pi over 4 times tangent pi over 4 plus ln of course pi over 4 minus pi over 6 tangent pi over 6 plus ln of course pi over 6 tangent pi over 4 from this diagram is opposite over adjacent that's 1 cos of pi over 4 that's 1 over root 2 tangent pi over 6 that's tangent of this angle that's going to be opposite over adjacent that's 1 over root 3 and cos of pi over 6 is adjacent over hypotenuse that's root 3 over 2 so let's rewrite this we get pi over 4 times 1 plus ln of 1 over root 2 minus pi over 6 times 1 over root 3 minus root 3 over 2 and I'll leave that as the answer we'll see you next time I need to make some corrections to the last page here we should have ln of root 3 over 2 and um, also uh, from this step to this step we're able to drop the absolute value because 1 over root 2 is a positive number and um, also from this step to this step 
we're able to, for the same reason, drop the absolute value because root 3 over 2 is a positive number. Thanks.